We are the Falco family. Brian, Serena, Cameron, Kendall, and Savannah. We're a family of five driven by purpose and fueled by love. We decided to trade in the traditional school life for a life where every day is an adventure of faith and love. From a small photography business grew a love of memory keeping and filmmaking that turned into a full blown dream of becoming a family of filmmakers exploring the truth about education. So we're learning to document our adventures in homeschool business and life and tell stories of how we live and what we learn. I have a plan for this year, you guys, and it looks like this. Relax, master the art of today, and then just keep doing that every day. <laughs> First of all, I woke up late today. Second of all, I didn't charge anybody's devices for school today. And third of all, it doesn't matter because we're just gonna jump in anyway. So the kids are actually playing. Playing games for them is our brain and logic time right now which gives me some time to get some work done. I've been trying to condense my work time into a very focused like hour and a half to two hours of getting specific, very specific stuff done. Most of it being um, in our patron community, which is one of my main goals for this year. Um, but let's talk about that. Let's talk about lessons from 2020 because basically I need to do that before I can all the way jump in here in 2021 and really there's one scripture that i've been really laser focused on strip off every weight that holds us back and the sin that easily trips us up and run our race the race that god has given us we're going to attempt to catch you up a bit but that is the juice that is the goal um that is the lesson that was left behind from 2020 for us how have you guys been how has your 2021 been panning out um it's been a full month of heading into 2021 and um, I'm sure that it hasn't been without its challenges. That I needed all of January to kind of like refresh and refocus and begin to process all of 2020. And I wrote a post the other day and it just talked about how weird I think it is that a lot of us seem to be attempting to process 2020 in the midst of 2020. And I just think that's so bizarre. Sometimes you just need to rest in the place that you are, uh, focus on keeping your peace and pressing through difficult times and then we can sort through the things later you know what I mean I don't know I guess that's the approach I take to life that's the approach that I took that we took to 2020 is just keeping our peace and um pressing forward I don't know I just feel like those are the times that it's important to sit still and not make too many major decisions if at all possible because those are the times where I end up making big mistakes. Anyway, my iPads are over there charging. My kids have grown exponentially louder than they used to be when they were younger. <laughs> so y'all just gonna have to jump on board. What's going on, kid? Reading. What are you reading? We Dream of Space by Aaron Entrada Kelly. Um, What'd you I just finish? Have to go get it. So he's got As Brave as You by Jason Reynolds. He says is a four and a half. Yeah. Echo he read before that and he said this one's a four and a half too. I heard this one was really good on the audiobook. I started reading the audiobook with him, but he definitely read the book a lot faster than I got through the audiobook because I'm literally only at chapter two. She's probably single-handedly the reason why I don't oh. film as often as I want. Show me your five stars. Listen, then. Forever or a long, long I always time. do that. Forever or a long, long time. And this. And the miscalculations of Lightning Girl and Shouting at the Rain. Those are his five stars. Mm -hmm. The majority of them are four and a half-ish mm -hmm. stars, four stars. Mm -hmm. Do you have any this three stars? 
This is four. I have tons of three stars. This is three stars. You didn't like Orphan this Island. This is three stars. Okay, so this, this is this is three stars. So what is this one? Four and a half. Four and a half. I've read twenty-four books because two of them are at the library. So I asked them to put them in piles so that I can start to work a little bit on uh, their records, just um, filling in their reading logs and logging all of their star ratings and things like that. So he made a nice little pile for me, so I need to get to that. I also need to get my patron work done. Um, yeah, but I'm trying to, y'all, I'm trying to condense it to an hour and a half to two hours of work time. So we'll see how that goes. You can pretty much thank the children for being mad loud. And that's the reason why it's so hard for me to vlog. It is snowing out today. We've got a blanket of nothing but snow out there. We're enjoying math time. <laughs> with this little one still working on that this kid right here has been in the same spot pretty much all day so let's see how far he is in his book hey friend hi <laughs> so you are 273 pages in 273 he's a speed reader <laughs> they're all really good readers but he reads so much faster than his mama. So he's enjoying that. This guy is sense. working on math. Hey, Bear. What? It's Reader's Day. This is why I don't make plans. So I have, what time is when it? I have whole school plans, they like to do things like this. It's so basically a snow doing? day, friends. Kendall's putting lint in my hair. Why? <laughs> For no reason. Anyway, so he's gonna finish reading. It's funny because when somebody's really into something, we try to follow their lead. So right now, oh, you're looking so handsome, sir. <laughs> so right now, we're following the reader. Get it? Like following the leader. Following the leader. <laughs> Look at her. She distracted. Look at her. What is she doing? <laughs> Welcome to my world. Look at her. Welcome to my world. Send, send your help. <laughs> we know what Cameron is reading. Kendall is reading. Oh, I didn't know that. Kendall is reading Finding Wonders. Can you make sweet faces, please? <laughs> Y'all, I saw this man that was way, like, so funny. It was a little girl, and her mom had... Um, put the camera on her and wanted to record a clip of her doing her work, but she wanted her to smile So she asked her to smile and she said I want to show my real feelings <laughs> Anyway, I cracked up laughing, but that's basically her back to reading Back to finishing up the work for the day and then see what else we get into This is my work for the day. I know he's gonna have to get a job for the amount of books that he runs through Cause that's basically one, two. He's basically two run through two, three hundred plus books, three hundred oh. plus pages of books in the uh. last two three days. Three hundred plus. Yes, pages. your last book was three hundred plus pages, and this one is three hundred plus pages. Mm -hmm. He needs a job. <laughs> he needs a job, a legit like paying job for the amount of books that he's running through lately. But anyway. It's a good problem to have. I'll get back to it before she gets way too distracted and goes and bugs her daddy on a conference call. I'm out here in the snow and the cold getting ready to get a little bit of footage. So we kind of developed a little way for us to organize our footage for our film, which I'm going to talk a lot more about very soon. But uh, basically, uh, we want to try to get footage for the film and we have categorized it and figured it all out and we're hoping that it ends up being a good little um, equation for building the content for um, the films that we're making. So now that the kids are doing what they're doing inside, I'm heading out here to try to get some footage to kind of throw into our folders and um, catalog for us to use later on. So anyway, I, it's something because you see all the people that even despite COVID, even despite our current present day that 2020 has brought our way with the virus and all, you see um, many people that are 
still finding ways to get out and about and that is just not where we are right now and I just have to remember to strip off every weight that holds me back um, to use like what we have and what we've been given um, and do the best we can with the time that we have and the resources and um, just running our own race you know and being uh, happy for other people and the things that they're able to do right now um, or the things that uh, uh, that they set off to do running their race but I have to focus on mine so this is what I can do this is what we can do right now <laughs> look at him he's ready to tell me what happened <laughs> they keep postponing the challenge on to the way my life is set up. <laughs> I grab my stand um, for my computer to help me with my wrist and being ergonomically correct. And then I grab my keyboard to help get me pumped up <laughs> for getting work done. And my little pencil pouch and my phone and my planner i was thinking i would get things done in about like an hour and a half to two hours just kind of i made myself a little checklist um of things i need to try and accomplish i'm typically supposed to be getting this portion of my day done in the morning before i start school time or you know just really kind of getting in there with the kids and their lessons and things um, but your girl did not wake up, <laughs> okay? So, I, I refuse to move this, like, permanently to the end of my day because that is my goal, is to get it done beforehand. Um, so that didn't happen today, and that's okay. I've been trying to reserve the first hour for getting, like, things that have to do with YouTube and Instagram and emails and that type of thing that have to do with us as the Falco family and the way you guys see us. Um, and then the second half, I tried to reserve for um, getting getting writing done, um, any of my studying and note taking and things like that for the film. So my goal is to get like more and more efficient with the earlier list of things um, to give me more and more time to work on the later list, the latter list of things. Does that make sense? So I'm trying to spend more and more of my efforts into the filmmaking portion and organizing all the things and footage and ideas and writing and um, learning and all of that stuff. And just really try to buckle down and get what I need to get done with our other things. So things that have to do with our website, um, any of our shop sales. One major thing for us this year, um, since we're doing the whole stripping off everything that, you know, holds us back and weighs us down and um, our Patreon space, our, which is what I'm calling our friends club space because it might not always be hosted on Patreon, but I just felt like I got to a space where I was like, do I really want to continue to have this space? And I kind of love it. I kind of love it because even if there was no one kind of following along in our patron space, which there is, and we love you guys so much and are so grateful for your love and support. But even if there wasn't um, anybody following along, I love having that trail um, of memories of our journey you know, these authentic parts of our homeschool um, journey. And so I want to be able to keep that and to leave that behind um, for others to be able to tap into and see like what it was really like, like what, what I was really thinking, um, what we were really walking through. And that space for us is all of that. It's all the way authentic, okay? <laughs> so I often don't care about kind of what I look like and kind of what I'm saying. I stumble over my words. Um, I just don't give it too much effort in those things to try and shoot for it being as authentic as possible because that's what this journey is in homeschool life. So I want to properly catalog it and hopefully it can be helpful to people in the future. So I'm really giving all of our attention um, to that this year, our Friends Club space, and I have um, started to carve out a spot on our website for 
um, our content, our content that we've created in that space to live so that it's easier for everybody, not even people that have joined our friends club or our patron space, but for everybody to be able to see like what we've been sharing and um, what is really over in that space and just let that be a journal um, of documenting our homeschool. I wanna just really throw us all the way into that this year and see what comes of it. So, yeah, that was why I kind of created a separate little space and a separate little kind of blog space that is attached to our Falco family, the falcofamily.com website. I spent a lot of time doing that. I feel like it's gonna be worth it. <laughs> so I'm excited to see how that goes. So I will get that done. Um, we decided to scale back our shop a bit um and not because we don't want to make things there we're still going to make things we've still got new um merch and things that are going to go in that space um but not in this shop as it currently is or was if i am um if i've taken that down by the time you guys see this so um we're gonna kind of try to merge that with our friends club and with our website and let them be like limited edition things and things that we can use very easily to um to send out um with giveaways and special promotions and things like that so i'm excited to streamline everything and make it make sense right now the stage that i'm at you guys is writing every day so you guys know that um, really, just really cultivating this atmosphere of reading a lot was a major focus of ours for years. And now that we've got a good handle on that, we've moved over into writing, the writing phase. So we're readers, writers, and filmmakers. So those are kind of the little steps that I kind of created for us as a family of filmmakers. So we're in the writing phase and the goal really right now is to write every day. Just because you guys need to know what goes on behind the scenes, my boo made us dinner and it is so good. He made the best chili ever. Guess who is going to be ending their day reading? Um, I am just trying to do better with the goals in my heart, friends. <laughs> I'm actually finishing up this one, The Water Dancer. I posted about this on my Instagram a little bit ago. I was given an update of what the kids had read through and they were, what they were moving on to and how they were crushing their goals and how I was still on the water dancer. Then of course I had to hit them with the worry about yourself because <laughs> because at least I'm trying, okay? Um, so I am gonna talk all about this. I actually am planning on doing um, a 24 hour readathon that I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for the ride in my little 24 hour readathon and I'm going to talk all about what I'm reading, um, how I'm feeling reading through it. Um, I love seeing reading vlogs that are like that, but I don't see as many as I would like um, from the perspective or viewpoint that I have. So I'm going to attempt it myself um, to kind of give you a little bit of insight on what I'm thinking and feeling when I read through um, our books and how I let that apply to our life and our days and our goals and all that things, all those things. So um, yeah, I'm just getting in a little bit of quiet reading time for myself. Um, before I go and try to end off the day with the whole nighttime routine and such. I feel really good about starting this first vlog for us, <laughs> first video um, 
of the year, uh, starting off documenting this year of Falco Family Living, okay? <laughs> um, with a little bit of how I feel about the lessons that we've taken with us from 2020, which is just really one main lesson um, to strip off all the weight that holds us back and run the race that God has given us. So I'd love to know what lesson um, do you feel like you took from 2020, the lesson that is like bleeding into the everyday of your 2021. I'd love to know uh, what you guys think, what's on your heart, how have you been feeling? I feel like the way people have moved through 2020 and making it kind of feel like um, things are okay, so to speak, is not really okay. <laughs> with my heart and I feel like we as humans need more um there's more to processing um and uncovering a true lesson than um than I think we often lead on to so anyway I'm excited about documenting this year's journey and you guys being along for the ride and us getting to connect more and chat more and relate more and all of those things as we're on this journey of living and learning together and making these films and being all things Falco family which is all about faith and love for us and yeah let me stop being rambly thank you guys so much for watching today remember that our goal is to live and to learn Bye. don't forget to subscribe